I am Sandosh Gaidankar. Today I am teaching you the strength of material or mechanics of material. In that one, SFD BND, BMD, particularly cantilever beam. A cantilever beam having a point load and a UDL, complete UDL. Now, for shear force, I am considering downward as a positive and upward as a negative. For bending. Sagging as a positive and hogging as a negative. That means smiling face is positive, sad face I'm considering as a negative here. Now, first I will go for convert into point load. First I will convert into point load here. I will convert this into point load. Now here. This is A 1.5 exactly at the centroid because it is a UDL. Centroid is nothing but 1.5 into 1.5. If you calculate, the answer will be 2.25 kN because meter meter get cancelled. In UDL, this load into this distance you have to multiply. You will get 2.25 kN and the arrow, to, arrow has to be done exactly at the center, that is half, 0.75 from this side, 0.75 from this side. Similarly, there is a point load acting here at C, at C there is a point load 3 kN. Similarly, there is a UDL here exactly at the center, the value is 1.5, 1.5 into 0.5. The answer for this one is 0.75 kilonewton and half of length that is 0 0.25 0 0.25 either side you will get 0 0.25 0 0.25 this is the C and this is B now C and B now SF now I am drawing the shear force diagram here shear force Now SF at A, sorry B, SF at B there is no load, therefore you have to take single letter, that is 0, there is no load here. Next at SF at C, SF at C there is a load, therefore you have to consider left and right. SF at C, first I will consider right side, right side there is a only one load, that is 0 0.75 kilonewton SF at left side is nothing but 0 0.75 plus 3 because downward arrow I have considered as a positive if you add it the value will be 3.75 kilonewton next at A at A it is a fixed end but there is no load acting no load acting here therefore SF at A will be same value 3.75 kN now draw shear force diagram here this is SFD diagram the first value for A is 3.75 kN next at C there are two values First is 3.75. First is 3.75. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake here. SF at A, the previous value is 3.75 plus this value plus 2.25. If you add it, the answer will be 6 kN. The first value is 6 kN. The first value is 6 kN. SFC is 3.75. At the C, one more value is there 0 0.75. At B, it is 0. Therefore, it is an inclined line here. It is an inclined line. Why it is inclined line? Because it is a UDL. It is a UDL. Therefore, the inclined line will be appears. Draw a line here. 
again there is an inclined line in this way you have to solve the problem of uh, sfd now i'm going to uh, bmd now i will go from the left to right first i will consider the bm at a i will refer this diagram here the first load is here minus 0.75 why it is minus it is sad phase it is bending in this way it is bending in this way therefore it is sad therefore i have considered negative 0.75 into distance into 0.25 plus 0.75 plus 0.75 next this load minus 3 into 0.75 plus 0.75 into this load minus 2.25 into 0.75 if you calculate the answer for this one is minus 7.5 kilo newton meter kilo newton meter next is i will go for c bm at c this load that is this part minus 0.75 into 0.25 answer is minus 0.1875 kilo newton meter bending moment at b will be zero draw the line This is positive side. This is negative side. First value is A is minus seven point five kilo newton meter. C will be minus zero point one eight seven five kilo newton meter. It will be zero. Here, because of UDL, you have to draw parabola in this way because of UDL. If it is a point load, you have to draw a line. mind because of udl you have to draw a parabola negative negative in this way you have to solve the problem when the cantilever is subjected to completely udl with a point load i am santosh gadankar thank you very much